Well, good day, YouTube, and welcome to another episode of the Albano Rhino Beer Review. You have the Rhino and you have the Honey Monster. We have a beer. This beer here is Sleeman Cream Ale. Don't they have amazing commercials? Some people say that our beer was made by pirates in the middle of the ocean during the filming of Waterworld. But actually, it's not. It's just a piece of shit macro. It was brewed in, like, 1981. They just haven't cleaned their goddamn vats. They were driving by that fucking place every, all every fucking day. So, this is 5% alcohol. Cunts at them every time. <laughs> cunts! 5% alcohol, brewed in Guelph. Yeah. <laughs> Guelph. The only time Didn't it sounds some... like you're throwing up it's when you're saying it. Didn't we have some conversation about Guelph in the water? And that's why, that's why what, Trafalgar tastes weird? Trafalgar's in Oakville. Yeah. I don't know, we had a weird conversation about the water in Guelph. Well, it probably comes from the Grand River, so that explains it. Guelph! Guelph! <laughs> Wow. So, there we go. Not as dark as a cream ale normally is. Looks more like a macro lager. No, <laughs> whoa. No way. That's clear. That That's is that is clear as the day is long. That's like a little bit ahead. Lots of lots of carbonation. That's like the burnt amber uh that's like the burnt amber color you get on modern movies when they want to make it like, ooh, it's so dark. Oh, that smells beautiful. Yeah. Smell it out of the can. Oh, yeah, jeez. Smells even better there. <laughs> it smells, you know what? It almost smells like sweet corn out of the can. That's weird. That's not good. <laughs> like, obviously it's not good. You don't want to be tasting sweet corn out of, out of a beer can, but... Uh, well, let's drink Slyman's garbage product. Established in 1834, my balls. Oh, that's terrible. That sort of tastes like Molson. Sort of tastes like a Molson Canadian. Except like a bad Molson Canadian. <laughs> a lot more oh. a lot more carbonation too. A lot more carbonation, got more of the um it has the Molson funk, but yeah, yeah, it's amplified. got the it's it's got yeah the boiled vegetable funk that you get with Molson, which, which is, is really strange. Because Sleeman, I was gonna say after I drank this that of all the macro companies in Ontario, like the th big three, Sleeman probably makes the better choice of beers. It's just they're always in that clear bottle, so they always go fucking skunky. Yeah. Because I mean, truthfully, their porter isn't bad, their dark isn't bad, their IPA isn't horrible. Their their honey brown isn't horrible. Uh, the silver lager kind of is. <laughs> uh, this yeah, obviously yeah. is. But I mean, this is skunky. They actually do like, wow. make beers that have flavor. But this is like going back into boiled vegetable and nothing else. Yeah, yeah. I think they just basically stole hijacked a truck full of Molson Canadian and rebranded it. Look into that Molson. Slim, we could be hijacking your shit. They are pirates and apparently in league <laughs> with Al Capone. You were to believe their stupid commercials. It's I don't terrible. know. Truthfully, I don't like it. It's not the worst thing I've drank. I'll give it a four. Uh, I, I, and don't get me wrong. There are Sleeman products I like. This just, isn't <laughs> this just is not one of them. Um, no. Yeah, this tastes way too much like Molson Canadian, and I don't like Molson products. And this is even bad for a Molson product. I give this a three point five. It doesn't even taste good by macro Ugh. standards. <laughs> That's saying something. Oh. That went right up my nose, too. Oh. oh. You deserve it. Punish me, you bastard. <laughs> Just wait till you see what you get next. I don't want to drink anything Bye. more. No. <laughs>